I just want you guys to understand. There's an issue going on. And I just came to bring it to your attention. And we got Shy in my background. Now, if you didn't know who Shy was, go back and look at Lean On Me. Okay? And you'll see. You know the Joe Clark story. I don't know. Just go watch it. Morgan Freeman as Joe Clark. You know where he said he's going to be Batman? All right. Shy was in that film, ladies and gentlemen. And if I am. All right. We're going to let Shy be in my background, not yours. They're not going to be too loud because, you know, Shy was never loud. They were a cappella. And we're going to let Shy do what Shy does because that's what Shy does. You know what I'm saying? And right after we do Shy, we're going to do Justin and Sean Mendez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this video. We're going to put Shy on hold right at that intermission. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you all about something, if you don't mind. I have a consult that I have to do. It's already been prepaid uh, about a week and a half ago, and the person is just now getting back with me. But I put this consult up, and I'm sorry you guys can't see the screen. See, the video is supposed to be showing the screen, and it's not showing the screen. It's only showing this screen. And so I am. we're going to have to work out how to take care of that in the future. But pay attention to this. Oh, and by the way, Carlos, the young man who we did the consult with, he's visually impaired. So he can't see anymore as a result of an official who works for the city who shot him and caused him injury. This is the second person I've come into contact with who were shot, and they knew their assailant. But here's the way the justice system works, ladies and gentlemen. They can't identify their assailant. Yeah, they know who shot them. They saw the person who shot them, but guess what they can't do? They can't get in front of a jury and somebody show them a picture or somebody stand the person in front of them and say, yeah, that's him, Your Honor. Right here. Right, no, that's him. The guy with the gold tee. I mean, no, no, uh, the shaved head. Uh, no, the guy with the, oh, snap. Your Honor, I can't see him. But I knew it was him because he stood in front of me. I saw him with my own eye. I, I, oh, snap. Do you understand? Second person that I've had to talk to because they didn't understand why the prosecutor wouldn't take the case because they knew who shot them. They saw the person. Prosecutors will tell you that they can't bring it before a jury because jury needs eyewitness testimony. Pay attention. Eyewitness testimony. You see, a person who's been shot who's blind, who can't see, could just say anybody did it just to get back at somebody. That's why it needs to be at least one other witness. Then a person could, oh no, I saw him. I know him. We've had many dealings. Or I saw her. We, I know her. We've had many dealings. I've talked to her too many times. I know her voice like I know the back of your hand, Your Honor. Okay. Well, no, I, that was the wrong analogy, Your Honor. I know her voice like I know the back of my mama's hand. Yeah, my mama done hit me with the back of her hand so many times. It's like it's right, see, right stuck on my face. Okay, so, and the issue of him needing to see, that wasn't an issue. The issue was the understanding. Now, I'm going to play just a little snippet. Do not okay. take any offense to it because my son is 32 this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do not take offense to it. Mm -hmm. All right, now, you said you had a letter that you wanted to be read. Go yeah. for it. Read your letter. Read the letter. You got my phone. Oh, 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 one sec. Oh, well, I'm on her phone here. She is in her phone. I don't know why you sitting up there on her phone when you know she got to read the letter. But see, I tried to connect. Making things so confusing. No, listen. She tried to connect things through my phone, but my phone was having deal. Now, what you guys may not understand is this young man, Carlos, I understand his personality even when we first talked and I first talked to him about a week and a half ago and so when we first talked and I told him how to set up for the consult and he explained to me part of what was going on 
I understood his personality. So as you saw, he didn't take offense to anything I said. Why? Because I don't do that with everybody. You all don't get to get, and he's going to get a call back from me because our call ended. They ended up driving someplace and the call dropped. So he's going to get a call from me again. But if you listen to that particular consult, he brought up this letter that he created. And I'm going to help him perfect that letter. He sent me talking about he wants to get the letter out by the 31st. I told him I'm not on your time schedule. I told you when I would help, and that's all you're going to get. You know, sit up here and tell me you want to get it out by. I don't care what the you want to get it out by. See, uh, that's the conversation with him. What I want to do right now is for you guys is I want to let you know the consults, oh, that's too ex it's not expensive. Look at the amount of help that young man got just during that call. Look at how he was calling for those specific answers that he couldn't have gone to an attorney and got. An attorney wouldn't have told him that. An attorney wouldn't have told him he needed to do an affidavit. An attorney would have told him when he went to the police department, I want you all to pay attention because we're going to talk about that police report. But an attorney would have told him when you went to the police department, the police said, no, well, then there's nothing you can do. Because under the statute, they're the ones who are required to take the report. And if they don't want to take a statement from you, they don't have to. That's what an attorney would have said. And I will tell you, oh, God, no. You give them a statement and give them an affidavit. They can't refuse your affidavit because it's part of the record. Oh, snap. See, my job is to get around the, the stupidity, the ignorance, the crap. That's what I do. That's why at the beginning of the call, I told him I was going to give him at least five different options, five different things that he can do that he didn't know he could do. You heard him say, I didn't know that. Wait, wait, hold on. I got to write this down. Don't, you don't have to write it down. It's recorded. You know, that's that part of the conversation. This is what I do. Ladies and gentlemen, for the most part, most of the conversation was on a cuff. It was stuff I already knew because I already been through so much. Like I've told people. In the past, I've been through more in this short lifetime of mine than most people have gone through in three lifetimes. Don't worry about it. Other people have said the exact same thing to me about my life. Didn't plan it this way. This is just the way my life is. Okay? So, I'm not trying to promote the consults because it takes too much out of me. I can't get anything done. I have another consult, like I said, in about an hour and 15 minutes. At 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, it's now 40 minutes after uh, 8. So I have a consult. Oh, no, no. Whew. Two hours. 11 o'clock. It's not 10 o'clock yet. Oh, no, it's about 10 o'clock. No, an hour and a half. I'm sorry. It's not. It's 941. I'm sitting so far away from the, the computer that I'm looking 8, and I see it's 941. So, yeah, an hour and 15 minutes. Anyway. Then I have another meeting with SACOM, and then I have a notary to do. We have to notarize some documents today. And because I have to notarize these documents, I have two documents to notarize, and I have to pay for the notary. They don't get no notary for free. Notary can't do anything for us for free. Why? Because it has to be 100% legitimate. We, we don't play that. There, there are no fringe benefits for me. When I mention the amount of funds we've taken in compared to the three, the SAP pack, the donations, and the consults, ladies and gentlemen, that money doesn't come into my pocket. That money goes to all the expenses. And if you guys only knew the amount of things that we have to do as an organization. Now, we're now switching our cell, or not our cell, but our phone service. We have a phone service that we utilize. We're now switching that phone service to a different company. Because the company we're dealing with is stupid. And so we're tired of Ring Central. Ring Central lost our documents. So I'm going to make the same promise to them as I said in that video that I made to everyone else. Here, you guys have did us wrong. We brought it to your attention and you ignored us. I've already explained to one company, <laughs> nobody gets to ignore me. Name of that company is On Track. I'll explain to you guys about their stupidity. Some coming up someday soon, but I want to get back to this consult. Did you hear him mention, this is the reason why I put it out there for you guys so that you could hear the conversation, that he was doing certain letters, uh, credit repair letters, not credit repair letters, but, well, they are credit repair letters, but they are the Fair Credit Reporting Act letters. 
Now he's doing certain letters that he's put together the format. He's been to court. He's gotten them to settle several times. He does this for a living, literally. That's what we talked about before. That's why I said, yeah, you, we discussed that. Well, he has been going and filing police reports. Like I said, I need you guys to pay attention to this. Ladies and gentlemen, every one of you where the banks are saying you owe money on your mortgage and you know for a fact you do not owe money, then that means that they are filing false claims against you on your credit report, which means you file identity theft. And who is falsifying your identity? The banks, the financial institutions, the servicer. Go in there, file your complaint against them. They tell you we're getting ready to foreclose on your property and we're going to do a trustee's deed sale. File a complaint against the stupid trustee, everyone. Do not hesitate to file a complaint against him for fraud or, excuse me, not for fraud, attempt fraud attempted fraud attempted fraud and identity theft ladies and gentlemen y'all need to pay attention it is not your mortgage that they're foreclosing on you all are not paying attention yes they have a deed of trust but they don't bring in any proof that you are in default they bring in a presumption where they claim you have to rebut what you have to do is you have to send them a letter saying, I want a certified accounting. No, I ain't taking your word for it. You say I'm in debt, you better give me proof because I done paid this and I ain't got to show you proof that I paid. You need to show me proof I didn't pay. This mortgage is paid in full. That's why you ain't been receiving no payment because I ain't owing you no monies. So if you're saying there's still an outstanding balance, well, my records don't show that. So you need to show me a certified accountant. You have a certified accountant with your organization. You're required to have such under the SEC and the so-called Treasury and the Department of HUD and state regulatory agencies. So have your certified accountant send me a certified statement of accounting. Ladies and gentlemen, go back and look at the Fair Credit Reporting Act and see if it does not require such. Look, they don't want to play with me, but as I told him, if you guys pay attention to that video, I... Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> not that video. I had another conversation last night, and I told a young man, I said, the moment I help you guys with this, they're going to come my way again. Told him quite literally, the moment I help you guys with this, they're going to come my way again. because what we're getting ready to do with this other group is devastating. The system won't be able to handle it because they simply won't be able to handle it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was supposed to be just simple and short. I thought we were going to be able to get into some other artists on the music, but not able to. Okay. We're going to just walk on out of here with Shy. I'm going to go ahead and I was just listening to it because I, I do listen to things over again and if i say that i would be a one and only promise me i apologize this is shy once again everybody i'm gonna let them sing and bring us on out of here my hope and truly my hope is that all of you who can benefit from this information take the time and listen to that consult again and again and again because you will pick up something new every time i promise you like I told them, the reason why I wanted to record it and put it up there, and they gave me permission, but the reason why I wanted to put it out there and let you guys see is because not to let you see how the consult go. I wanted you to hear the conversation, things that I don't normally talk about because many of you say that I leave things out. Well, the reason why I leave things out because I'm not having both sides of the conversation. I'm only having one side of the conversation. I can't think like you. So by putting that consult up, now there's a person who thinks differently than me asking a question and phrasing it in a way that I would normally not do because of my experience. So now you get to educate yourself based on that conversation. Maybe you wouldn't put it the same way, but you will understand it hearing it from both sides. That's why I do that. Okay? My friend. We ain't going to do that one. Hey, y'all take care. 15 minutes, y'all. We 